Hello everybody, Sticky Yuta here, and today I'm bringing you a guide for new players or even maybe experienced players. Just my tips and tricks on how to grow your Yuta, uh, to make sure you survive to adulthood, uh, grow to full adult, and then start hunting. Um, so first and foremost, <coughs> pick your Yuta skin. Now I personally prefer the female because of the crest. So males have a crest once they hit the adult stage and that crest is very visible. It's, it's, let's see the colors. So the colors are pink, orange, and green. All of those are very visible. Um, they don't blend in with the grass, the trees, even the green one. It, it's like a bright uh, lime green. So definitely very visible that's why i prefer the female because females do not have a that crest um so for this regardless what you pick if you're a female um you're not gonna have a crust if you're a male you're gonna have a crust once you hit the adult now for the other colors um i do see a lot of you just pick different you know white and uh, my personal favorite is obviously the black and white yuta but it's not you know it's very visible, it's not very good for survival. Things can spot you from far away. Um, if you get bit, even an adult, you get bit by an aloe or something and you need to run away and hide, guess what, you won't be able to because you're so visible. So, my colors for the camo, camouflage skin are Rex 3, Rex 3, Rex 3, and Carno 5. Those are my colors that I found blend in the most with the um, with the most of the grass, the trees. Uh, sometimes they won't blend in, obviously, like on, on a sandy beach. Obviously, that's very visible, so not ideal. But typically, you'd be in forests, uh, around trees, around grass, so on and so forth. And I personally found these colors work the best for me to stay as hidden as possible for as long as possible. Uh, if I'm trying to ambush something or I'm trying to run away from something, uh, whatever the case is. So Rex 3, Rex 3, Rex 3, and Carno 5. You can play a little bit with them, maybe uh, Diablo 3 or something, very similar. Um, there's a couple colors like that, Giga 4 that you can also pick that very very similar but i personally found these colors work the best for me um so let's jump in so this is absolutely crucial if you want to survive you do not want to be seen as a juvie utah because a lot of things want to kill juvie utahs and being invisible is absolutely paramount to your survival and let's jump in so i got a beach spawn at the gulf that's pretty good, that's one of the better uh, spawns. There's a lot of spawn points on the map um, all around this gulf, like I could be even further down or on the other side. Um, sometimes it's gonna be up north, sometimes it's gonna be up south uh, or down south in the somewhere you know, far away from the, the gulf. Um, there's one by port, uh, basically all over the map there's gonna be spawn points. So when you spawn in, you wanna find out where you are. now. Obviously being experienced and being on the beach, I know exactly where I'm at. Um, I'm across from Twin, Twin Lakes, which is that way. And then the Gulf Pond, which would be approximately that way. Um, so obviously I know that, but being a new player, you might not know where exactly you are. So there's a map, there's an online map, interactive map that you can use to find out exactly where you are. And to do that, uh, press your character menu. Um, for me, it's hotkey to uh, C. Um, for you, it might be insert, or you can also find it in escape. So press escape, character, there you have it. And this will tell you where you are on the map. Um, if you right or left click this, it's going to copy it. It's going to copy all the coordinates. And now you can use the online interactive map to find where you are. So this is fullnona.com. Um, so here you can paste your coordinates. Control V, enter, and it tells me exactly where I'm at. Now you wanna make sure that you're on the ILV3 map and 
because I, I will I mean if you're on a Thania map you can select Thania map I'm on v3 so I'm, obviously I'm gonna pick v3 uh, paste my coordinates press enter and here I am and it tells me exactly where I'm at so yes by golf pond across from twins um, sometimes you'll spawn somewhere over here or over here or like even down here somewhere so you might not know exactly where you are but why is it important to know where you are so the first and foremost thing you need to do is find source of water you want to make sure you get to the water as soon as possible because if you spawn over here and you start walking east uh, and then you decide to go north or south or something along those lines uh, you might start taking dehydration damage before you get to any you know place of water or if you're somewhere over here and you're walking this way and then you get stuck in uh, by the canyons which you can't cross over here uh, you basically can die from dehydration so you want to make sure you head to the water source as soon as possible so in this case I know that the closest water source is golf pond but I have to make a decision because golf pond is typically very very populated it's one of the hot spots um, there's a couple of them so one would be golf pond twins um, sinkhole um, great falls over here these are hot spots where you will very often find players so obviously you want to avoid players while trying to grow so in this case i know that i have enough water to get to to a river maybe plains river over here so i want to avoid golf pond or um, go around it and go somewhere higher up the river away from golf pond the hot spot of players and drink somewhere from a river not from necessarily a lake because typically lakes and uh, ponds people will usually stay around there um, but if you can go to a river you can drink anywhere and you can be literally 200 feet away from another dino and they won't see you because you know you're drinking a different place you know different setting or over the hill or you know by trees or something um, so typically if you can drink at a river not a lake not a pond not a swamp uh, i mean depending how big the swamp is and if it's a big swamp you can drink on the other side and nothing's gonna find you um but that's my advice drink at the river not a pond so in this case i think the best would be for me to go west a little bit and go north uh, above the gulf pond and drink somewhere above and that's where i want to stay uh, i want to stay close to a source of water that's my primary concern when i spawn in find out where i'm at and go to a source of water now if it's raining so obviously for a location to see which way you're going you need to sniff but in the rain you cannot sniff it just won't won't give you a direction um, oops invalid so if it's not raining you can sniff and it's going to give you a direction bar at the top right there at the top i know that that's south that's east north it's going to tell me and for north e for east s for south so to go golf pond is almost directly south a little bit east of me so i want to head west past the the golf pond and then get around it to the lake okay so I know which way I'm going <clears throat> now if it's raining obviously you cannot sniff but when it's raining you do not lose any water so that's a good thing um, it's gonna prolong your water obviously and once it stops raining then you can sniff and find out where you're going um, that's primary concern find where you're going head there find a source of water second concern is hunger utah juvie utah loses hunger very quickly so this is an ore over here which i'm going to try to chase down now it is faster than me in sprint so i want to get my ambush speed up before i sneak up on it in this case it's running towards me which is good but let's see if i can catch it with ambush missed the bite Bit it once there it is 
so or oros are second favorite meal or second biggest meal maybe third actually so it would be velo taco oro okay it's third uh, biggest meal um, so that would be your secondary concern your hunger so once you know where you're going to a source of water and you always, always want to head that way you're gonna start looking for food constantly doesn't matter how hungry you are even if you're you know 95 percent hunger you still if if you find something on the way eat it because you never know if you're gonna find something or not later on so regardless how hungry you are even if just one or two percent kill it eat it and keep going you always want to stay as full on hunger as possible now if you are close to a source of lake or a source of water then you can stay somewhere close by the body but not next to it because if you're next to it something might see the body head towards the body and then find you and kill you instead so you want to stay close to the body but not too close in this case i don't even want to stay by the body because i'm out in the open there's no trees there's no big brush i want to move away from here because even if i'm sitting i will most likely get spotted if something walks close enough now juvie utah is not very visible because it's so tiny but still i don't want to risk that i want to move away from the beach uh, somewhere in the trees, somewhere I can hide. Um, so we know where we're going and we're going to a source of water and on a way we're gonna hunt everything that we see, every AI I should say, not players. Oh I hear another Oreo, there it is. Um, so for AI obviously we'll have to get to know the sounds and I'll probably link the sounds here in a minute. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you want to learn these sounds because you want to make sure that if you hear something, you know it's if it's an AI or a player. Um, and if it's an AI, then you want to hunt it, you want to kill it, you want to eat it, and stay as full on food as possible. All right. <clears throat> now, third decision you need to make at this point. Well, I mean, you could run to the water first. Uh, make sure you're safe, hidden, well fed, and then you have to make a decision. Do you want to join a pack now or later? Now, there's pros and cons to it. So, with the pack, it's going to be easier for you to find food. Because obviously, the pack most likely is going to have some adults who are going to be moving around quicker. They're going to be spawning more AI. Um, so, it's good for food, but... I personally don't like joining packs too early because Utah packs are usually very loud and other dinos find uh, something to hunt 90% of the time it's by the sound unless it's obviously a twins where everybody sees everybody but if you're not a twins not at a hot spot typically how people will find you is if you make a sound so if you're in a Utah pack guess what you're gonna be typing you're gonna say something like hello my name is sticky utah right and boom you're making a sound every time you type you make a sound um and that's obviously not something you want to uh because the sound does carry far and even your pack mates will very often one call which carries even further away they're going to be constantly talking and if something decides to hunt those utahs and they're going to find you right they're going to find your pack um adult utahs can run away from almost everything except obviously carnos because carnos are faster than utes but so the adult utes are simply going to run away they're not going to protect you because utes cannot face tank anything like let's say if you were in a rex pack if you were a little juvie rex the rexes can protect you they can literally body block anything away from you like they position themselves between you and whatever's hunting you um, and that's basically body blocking. Utahs cannot do that because they're so squishy. A Utah, adult Utah cannot just place itself between you and a, I don't know, an aloe and just, you know, defend you that way because it simply can't. The aloe is simply going to kill it. So the adult Utahs are simply going to run away or get into a fight. But guess what? You're a juvie Utah. You can't run away. You're slow. You're tiny. Everything's going to catch you. And if they want to, they will kill you. So... That's one reason I do not like joining Utah packs early until I'm like full adult is because, well, they're just dangerous. They're loud. They will bring something onto you and you are at the risk of dying 
because they're so loud. Um, so that's a decision you need to make. Do you want to join a pack if you want to be social and you know interact with other players or you want to survive? If you want to survive, I'd say stay away from packs until you're fully grown. Um, you're capable of surviving on, the, on your own. You don't need you know pack mates. Uh, as long as you pay attention, don't AFK for too long where your hunger goes to, you know, 5% and then you start looking for food, it might be too late by then. But if you're paying attention, then you should be self-sufficient. You don't need anybody else. You can hunt any AI, including Ava as a GVU, even a fresh GVU that can hunt an Ava. Sure, it takes some, some time to kill an Ava, maybe 5 minutes, but you will kill it, you will get to eat, and you will survive. Uh, much more likely than a Utah pack simply because Utah pack packs are so loud. Let me change the time of day. <clears throat> so that's the third decision you need to make. So decision number one, find a source of water, head towards it. Number two, hunt everything on the way to stay as full on food as possible. And then number three decision you need to make is, do you want to join a pack now? And they will hunt for you, you're going to be social, you're going to have a little bit more fun obviously with other players, but you're at the bigger risk of dying because something finds you because of all the barking um, and you're at the risk of dying. Um, so that's that's a decision up to you. I personally prefer not to join you to packs until way later. Um, when I'm full adult and I can run away from anything that's hunting me, um, an aloe pack of aloes comes after us, I just run away, you know, whatever. Or kill them, obviously. But guess what, as a Juvie Utah, you're not going to kill an aloe. I think I just heard Neva. And let's go hunt it, because my hunger is going down. Now I want to make sure, even if I'm running away from my source of water, I still want to hunt, because the, the hunger goes down quicker than the the thirst and I know I'm not too far from the water so I will make it there uh oh I hear Velo okay Velo very very dangerous for Utahs I just heard it okay how to fight Velos you cannot run away from Velos you have to kill them so Velos are AI uh, they give the lowest amount of food but they will kill you there it is it's walking over there so you have to kill them, you cannot run away from them because they're faster than you and they will kill you in a couple bites. So you want to take them head on. If you see them, you hear them, take them head on. If they sneak up on you from behind, you will simply stop and uh, Z turn, make sure you press your Z so that your Z turn, this is a uh, trot. And once I press Z, I'll start uh, walking, slow walking. So press Z turn, if it sneaks up on you, press Z turn turn and bite it bite it bite it until it dies um, typically it's only going to take one or two bites but you want to spam the bites to make sure that at least one or two of them land um, so you want to kill the velo before it kills you you cannot run away from them don't panic if it sneaks up on you from behind let, let's see if it if it sees me I'll let it sneak up from behind there you go I see it Let's see if it's going to see me and go after me. There you go, it sees me. I'm trying to run, but it's faster, so I'm going to turn. There you go. See, just a couple of bites would have killed me. Uh, it's faster than me, can't run away. So if it sneaks up on you from behind, you didn't see it coming, don't panic. Just stop, Z-turn, kill it before it kills you because it will kill you if you don't kill it first but hey I got some food now it's actually super lucky that the Velo showed up is it AI? yes it is AI I was wondering if it's an admin snuck up on me but no it's AI kill it eat it and keep moving to your source of water um, the only time you're gonna sit is for stamina so keep moving hunt something kill it eat it and again doesn't matter how hungry you are you always want to fill up um, now 
obviously if you're 95% food and something's really far you know backwards away from the source of water then maybe just keep going because might not be worth you know just for 5% of food it might not be worth going backwards uh, but if you are close to a source of water then just keep going well I should say if you're far from the source of water then keep going towards it if you're close to it then you can go backtrack a little bit hunt something I heard a taco I believe no that was an Oreo I heard <clears throat> um, now you can sniff once you're close to a source of water if it's a lake or a pond or a swamp you can sniff and it's gonna show up let me see if the golf pond is gonna show up for me because I'm pretty close to it there it is I see it so it's gonna be blue um, directly in front of me so if it's a lake swamp or um, a pond it's gonna show up but if it's a river then it's not gonna show up um, like this it's only gonna show up when once you're next to it it's just gonna light up as blue but you won't be able to see it through the trees through the grass stuff like that so I know where the golf pond is and I know there's a river going to it and I wanna avoid the golf pond so I wanna go that way away from the hot spot because golf pond is a very very favorite place for dinos to drink when they're growing and there's always going to be almost always going to be utas or aloes or rexes at it or gigas or something's going to be there typically so you do want to avoid it when you're a juvie uta because you can't once they see you or hear you well obviously you don't want to make any sound so don't type don't one call don't two call don't don't make any calls um, be as silent as possible but yeah once they see you, you're not going to be able to run away from them so being hidden is paramount to your survival gaining low on stamina Alright, so when you're getting stamina, you want to hide somewhere invisible. My favorite place is this. <laughs> logs. I love logs. Hiding in logs, you are practically invisible. Because of the colors, anything that looks at you from distance of 10 feet or further away they're not gonna realize that's actually a dino sitting in a log I wish I had a second camera or a way to see from a little bit further away but obviously from this side they can't even see me from the other side they might not even realize that that's a, actually a dino sitting there because I'm so similarly colored um, I know most people like to hide in the trees so like a deep tree like this um, that's a good place to hide but the thing is if somebody sniffs and they find your tracks um, they might start looking under the trees because they know that people hide under the trees so they will come up they will either bite under the tree or they'll literally walk under the tree and start looking see if they can spot you um, so trees not a bad place to hide but the only time I hide under the trees when there's a lot of trees around like in this case there's a lot of trees I can pick one tree and chances are whatever's looking for me if something's looking for me they're not gonna check every tree um, but other than that I do prefer to hide in the logs or in a deep um, bush or trees something like, like even like somewhere like next to a rock like over here is a perfect spot spot too. I'm almost well I'm actually sitting on a little rock let's move away from the little rock there you go oh, keeps going up stop going up there you go so something like this perfect I am essentially invisible nobody's gonna find me here unless they're they've seen me sit down or they see my tracks they might see where it stops and they actually bite over me they won't see me but they might try to bite 
expecting me to be somewhere around here. But yeah, essentially invisible. So those are my two favorite places to hide logs. Uh, maybe next to a rock if there's there's you know brush next to it because rocks are very similarly colored as well. Like even right here, something looks from far away. I will blend in with the rock basically, even though my tail is sticking out. Um, they might not realize that that's actually a dino because I'm so similarly colored. <coughs> but yes, lugs and brush is my favorite. Oh, perfect. That's a perfect lug right there. With a little bit of a... Boom. I am invisible. Let's get full stamina here. So yes, tree is not my favorite. You can definitely hide under the trees, but I prefer not to. Typically somewhere in the grass, brush, bushes, and logs. There's a lot of logs around. Granted that you're in a forest somewhere. If you're on the beach, there's not gonna be a log. There's not really anywhere you to hide on the beach except maybe the grass, tall grass. You can hide there and it kind of works, but I'd say move away from the beach. Because the Juvie Rex spawns in, sees you, guess what? They're going to kill you. Another log. This one's even better, I think. Yeah, it's like a double log. Perfect. Yep, invisible. But okay, let's get to our source of water and actually st gotta start. I wasn't paying attention, but I gotta listen to AI and see if I can hunt something because my hunger is going down. I don't know when this is the next time I'm gonna find something and I wanna hunt it now if I can hear it. Alright, let's see where the gold pond is. It should be down there. Oh, nope, it's further that way. Ooh, I've walked away really far from it actually so the river should be up here now if I want to I can double check again where exactly I am and let's see paste the new yep there it is so I crossed over exactly how I wanted went west went north and now I can just keep going north until I hit the river maybe even a little bit further maybe somewhere over here um, now if I want to, I can keep going all the way to maybe Puddle Pond around here, maybe drink at the over here, further away from Gulf Pond. Because there's a lot of things doing the same thing that I'm doing. Instead of drinking at Gulf Pond, they'll drink a little bit higher up the river. Well, not a lot of things, but some people do that as well. So I might actually just get a drink of water, move back, you know, into the trees, keep going, and maybe go further south drink somewhere a little bit further away from the populated area over here all right let's keep going <clears throat> now as far as drinking um anytime you're drinking at the lake at the beach or um at the river anywhere you're kind of exposed because every river every lake is pretty much gonna i heard ai uh sounded like an oro no sounded like a taco i should say and we want to hunt it because we don't know when the next meal is coming heard footsteps there it is and this is the taco another AI let's get full stamina and then eat Speaking of which, I gotta move away from the body. I did talk about this. So, if there's a body, if something sees it, and you're next to it, guess what? They might kill you as well. Let's find a good spot to hide. This slug right here. Let's see if it's gonna hide me. Okay, that's good enough. Yep, invisible. Now, I do like looking down when I'm hiding so that my head goes down a little bit lower 
because if you're looking up your head is a little bit higher up and something might not notice your eyes especially in a uh, uh, night vision the eyes um, light up so you can see the eyes so I like looking down when I'm hiding so I'm just getting full stamina then I'm gonna eat and then keep moving I can hear the river from here. Alright, so as far as drinking, you want to drink at night unless you're absolutely thirsty because you're so exposed, and I'll show you in a second. Let's get to a river. It's a gold pound is down there. I'm gonna drink down up here. Now before I come out, I wanna have a look around. See if I can spot any other dinos. Don't see anything. Hmm, there's another trick. So before I drink, I want to get full stamina. Oh, nice. Reason being, because I'm so wide, you know, out in the open drinking water, and if something starts chasing me, I want to have full stamina to run away, and I will also have my ambush speed ready when I'm drinking. So if I see something coming my way, I run, and I try to lose them in the trees. And for that, I want to make sure I have as much stamina as possible. Right, so it is almost night time. I could wait to drink at night, and I do recommend that everybody drinks at night because you're less visible. Um, so yes, definitely want to wait for the night. I'm just gonna drink over here now, simply show you how wide open you are when you're drinking. Boom, everything can see me from far away because I'm out in the open. Now before you drink, you want to crouch and get your amber speed. Once your amber speed is ready, you can drink if it's gonna let me there, there huh? hello hello okay 
I guess I'll be drinking dirt. So once the amber speed is ready, you can start drinking and you retain your amber speed. And the you want to retain or keep your amber speed in case you see something running at you. You're just gonna run. And hopefully lose them. You don't want to run for too long, uh, reason being that they can hear the footsteps. And you're not fast, so obviously with the amber speed you're a little bit quicker. So just run away to break the line of sight and then just sit down somewhere. Somewhere hidden and let them walk past you, hopefully. Because if you keep running they can hear the little footsteps, tap 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 tap, so they're gonna follow you. And they will catch up to you most likely because you are Juvie Utah, you are slow. Uh, unfortunately, so you want to just hide. Just let them pass by. Don't say anything. Don't move. Don't make any sound. Boom. They're going to walk right past you. Uh, they're probably going to start sniffing. Uh, if they do, they're going to see your tracks. They might see where the tracks end, but they might not notice you. However, if you keep moving, they will hear you and they will follow those you know, sounds, the footstep sounds. Um, so your only chance at that point, if something is this close, your only chance you have is break line of sight where they don't see you sitting down and just sit down or even just crouch if you don't want to make a sound of sitting because when you sit down you make a sound. Boom, makes a sound. So maybe just crouch and that's it. Just like this. And hopefully they pass you by. If they go far enough and they start sniffing, go the other way. Hopefully they don't hear your footsteps. If you can hear them or see them coming after you, again, same thing. Crouch, get your amber speed up. And if they pass you by, go the other direction and just basically cat and mouse with them. Alright, so once you're at the source of water where you're you know it's not very populated, there's nothing around. And that's where you're gonna grow. You're gonna drink, get food anytime you hear something, some AI, make sure you hunt it. Like right now I seem like I'm almost, you know, full food, but guess what? That's already sixty-nine percent. And uh well you don't know when you're gonna find the next meal. So if you hear something, hunt it. Make sure you fill up on food as soon as you can. There you go, I heard a taco. I'm pretty sure it was a taco. Up on the hill. Oh, there's another one. Alright, so that's basically all you're going to do at this point. You're just going to grow, grow, grow. And once you're... Uh, 1.0 on a growth or 100% here in the character menu. Let me grow myself real quick. So once you're ready for grow, it's gonna pop up as this, grow. So you can hit grow and that's your adult stage. Uh, fresh adult, so you still got a long way to go before you're fully adult. Uh, you'll be full adult at 1.0 or in character menu it's gonna say 100%. Um, now this is the trickier stage because you're so big you can no longer hide in the you know logs and whatnot and things can see you but at the same time you're not fast enough to run away from anything um, Sarah's aloes adults anyway they will catch up to you so if they see you you're pretty much dead um, so you want to stay as hidden as possible as long as possible uh, drink during night time um, when you hunt, eat to full, and then go hide. Now, this one's a little bit trickier too, because as a Juvie Utah, you want to hunt as often as possible, but as an adult, that's actually a little bit counterproductive, because if you're out hunting, you're visible. So if you're not hiding somewhere, you know, in the trees or uh, in a brush, whatever, if you're not hiding, something can spot you and then come after you and you won't be able to run away because you're not fast enough to run away. Um, so you do want to maybe not hunt as often. So let's say with that taco. Well, let's see if we can find something else. 
Actually, we won't because we're not spawning AI right now. Because we're so full on food, we're not spawning AI. So let's go back to that taco. If I can find it. I heard footsteps. I can even sniff my own tracks and see if I can follow them back to the taco. Time for night vision. The tracks disappeared, but I think the tackle was up on the open area. I think that's the tuck right there. Yes, it is. So, let's say you kill something as a fresh adult. You want to eat to full. Then you want to hide for a little bit, maybe go down to about 80% hunger. Once 80% hunger, maybe 90%, come back and finish it, uh, or at least refill on it before it despawns. And once you're full, move away again, hide, and if again at 90, maybe 80%, come back to it. If it despawns, uh, then you go hunt something else, but otherwise, always return to the same one don't move around too much um, you don't really want to travel across map as a as a fresh adult Utah because when you're traveling things can see you from far away they're gonna spot you they're gonna come after you and they will kill you so as a fresh adult you want to just hide um, once you're about 95% growth so about 95% when you're grown to 95% I think that's a safe bet that you can start moving around because um, you will be quicker because each percent that you grow you become a little bit quicker a little bit quicker a little bit quicker despite what it says here um, right now I'm nowhere near 43 kilometers per hour fast that's just your top speed once you're um, basically fully grown so each percent as you grow you get a little bit quicker um, at 95% growth, I think you're fast enough to run away from most things, um, including Aloes, including Sarah's. Carnos, obviously, you'll never run away from because Carnos are just simply faster than even a fully adult Utah. Um, so yeah, just wait until you're fully grown before you start traveling. And then once you're fully grown, you can actually join a pack, look for a hunt, so on and so forth. But yeah, I hope this has been helpful. Just to recap. You want to head, first thing you want to do when you spawn, you want to find out where you spawn, head to a source of water, because that's going to be extremely important. You don't want to dehydrate. Um, food is easier to find than water. Food is, you know, it's just going to spawn somewhere close to you when you're hungry. Um, not all the time, obviously. Sometimes they don't make a noise, so you won't be able to find the AI that's near you. It's just not making any noise, you won't find it. So you might, you know, starve, but water is much harder to find than food so you want to head to a source of water on the way hunt as much as possible um, as often as possible just keep eating 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 um, to make sure that you don't starve down the road if you can't find something else and then obviously make a decision do you want to be social and join a pack and risk dying because they're so loud or you want to be solitary until you're fully grown and then join a pack. Um, obviously try not to make any sounds because that's most likely how something's gonna find you. 90% of the time something's gonna find you because you're making some kind of sound and then 10% is if um, if they spot you, if they see you moving. Um, now obviously that 10% will go higher up if you're traveling a lot so if you're constantly traveling, traveling, traveling and then maybe there's like a 30% chance that they cannot find you by seeing you rather than by the sound. And once you're fully grown, then you can start hunting, you know, other dinos, other things. Um, now, obviously, if you see a little juvie and you're like 
80% adult and you see a juvie rex then yeah you can just kill it uh, but for bigger stuff you want to be fully grown before you do anything and um, typically I, I've done this before and I've seen other people do it where they're like 90% um, adult and they think they're already big enough to hunt something like a rex or an aloe I don't recommend it because you're so much slower you're there's so much your jumps are uh, not as high you're not as quick you're basically risking dying so you've been growing so Utah takes uh, an hour and 40 minutes to grow from a juvie to a full adult so let's say you've been growing for an hour and 30 minutes you're almost full adult but not quite so you are slower you uh, don't jump as high you don't do as much damage so now you're risking that entire an hour and a half you're risking it because you're at a disadvantage because you're not fully grown when you couldn't be you know you could be not risking it and just grow for another 10 minutes you're gonna be fully grown do full damage so might as well just grow to full before you hunt because if you're not full you are at a big risk of dying and it's like it's not really worth it because you just spent an hour and a half growing just spend 10 more minutes growing to full before you actually start hunting something and but yeah um, that's my advice but I know that some people want to start hunting as soon as possible even like 70% fresh adult um, they want to start hunting aloes and seras but it's like it's just not worth it because at 70% adult Utah you are slower than the Sera. Uh the Sera can simply uh, turn around and chase you down and there's nothing you can do about it so it's just not worth the risk after spending all this time growing might as well just grow to a full adult before you do anything else um, yep and once you're full adult join a pack and if you want to hunt if you feel confident that you can take on an Allo, Sarah, Rex, whatever it is that you're looking to hunt you can try it if not I mean then you can just roam the map and sightseeing and see different things maybe hunt juvies and sub Rexes and sub gigas whatever it is that you want to hunt um, but okay I hope this has been helpful uh, this obviously is more for the newer players there's a couple of tricks that probably even experienced players can learn but okay I'll see you guys next time bye bye